Hey, everybody. Anyways, Thank um, you for joining us good. for uh, this live feed. We are we're doing this uh, tw six hours after our launch for Lilith and Mara, the campaign. And uh, are we are we on? <laughs> We're on. Okay, we are on. Okay. It just, it, just, it just popped up. So uh, I just want to thank everybody for the tr tremendous amount of support you've already shown the campaign. We've already made goal. We made goal in the first three hours. And so now we are heading towards that first stretch goal, right? Woo Let's take a look at where we're, what we're at here. Let's take a look. Yeah, 771. And... Uh, so 154% of uh, the goal has been made. And uh, yeah, this is awesome. And it looks like the favorite perk. Can, it sh can I show them this real quick? Yeah, go ahead. All right, man. Might as uh, well now. Yeah, I think the favorite perk for everybody is the bundle. Give me it all. Everybody wants, yeah, this, but the everybody wants the big bundle it's to get everything. That's This is the one. Yeah, but a close. And I mean, a close second. I think I predicted it. It's going to be creeping up on a lot of people. A lot of a lot of these pleasures are going to be uh, gravitating to that summer's L cover. Just oh, that yeah. one. It's it's probably the easiest perk you can actually get because you're actually getting the physical copy. That's the get um, the comic book perk. The right. the floppy. We like to call them floppies. Comic book. Uh, people like to have something physical in their hands, and they are gravitating to that too. So um, that's a close second. You yeah. Know, but right now, like Jason said, the bundle pack is rocking right now. So yeah, that bundle pack is crazy. Speaking of summer, uh, there is a twenty-five dollar perk that you can get where you get both the summer Dale covers. So if you're a huge fan of her art, like we are, you can get both of her covers too. If you just want to get that, um, and it's got the Genesis Second Chance cover, and this is a cover that we didn't actually have for the last Genesis campaign we wanted to offer something something new in case you already backed that last project and we'd like to get genesis with this uh what what noel calls the virgin cover oh hey well, mark, mark borden just chimed in here <laughs> sorry <laughs> I, I don't i mean i i didn't invent the name the virgin cover it's already been there and came up like 10 years ago or whatever but um it just a uh, cover that has no dressing on it doesn't have the title it just shows the artwork and um i believe the the last campaign that we had um had her on was a uh, genesis uh it had the dressing on it, it had the the price on it and uh, you know me and jason we just like hey let's let's bring it back let's make a it's a variant too because it's a variant off the off the original one because she actually retouched it up with a the background it's a different shade yeah it's, it's all like, it's say, blue like, right it's like got yes blue for temperature tense. right so it's a, it's a different um, version of it. So if anybody missed out or every, anybody was asking about that particular cover, because Jason was telling me that a lot of people were asking, hey, um, how can I get, how can I cop one of those copies? Jason was really adamant. He was, you know what? You got to be on these campaigns. Um, a lot of these other indie, um, indie um, campaigns are going on. These books, these covers, these, these, um, they're becoming more rare because they're just a one time only, you know, right. they're limited. And when we say limited, they're really are, they are limited. You know, they're only for this campaign. We're not going to be selling these at the shows. Um, you, you won't find them in the stores unless they're being resold because we do have a, we do have a perk that has a, the, the store uh, perk, right? I believe right. like you buy like let five me, and five. Let me, let me see if I get that one here. It's like a retail perk. Yeah, this is the retail perk. It's uh, you get ten copies, uh, for a hundred dollars. You get five copies of the Summerdale, uh, regular edition, and then you get uh, five copies of Noel Serrato, uh, his tame, I guess, or timid, uh, the variant, clothed, the clothed one, the clothed one. Um, and then <laughs> retailers do have the option; they can send us a note and say they want uh some of the more risque versions of the cover as well to rip to they can they can kind of swap things around if they want but yeah we do yeah. offer this for the retailers and that's like a really interesting um perk right there because everybody um if they're actually looking at the all the different um pledges that people could get 
uh, they'll notice that that retail one just for the retail. Um, I think the books are like 10 to 20 percent off. So like you're, you're getting a great deal right there if you do the math, you know. Right. Um, if you're planning to re resell them. Um, Plus, we're, we're offering the, the risque version a little bit more. Uh, they're more expensive than the regular ones, the tame ones. And Jason already told you, and it's written right there. You, you could swap them out. You could actually swap them out for the same price. Right. So you're actually getting a great deal already. So, Right. And also, we, we aren't putting – we don't have cover prices on these books as well. So retailers, again, they can decide what kind of price point they want to put on these different comics. So that's something else to be thinking about. Um, so, we're, yeah, uh, let's. I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to. Do you want to go through by perk or just talk about just the project itself? Because I think we talked about it last time, but we, the last time we actually went on was like two days ago. It was like right. a surprise, kind of like a. <laughs> well, it was our test. Prime. We we didn't know if we we were. <laughs> what what we're doing here is really kind of. Uh, Kind of cheating the the system a little bit here because we're just using skype to 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 do this kind of dual Not broadcast so skype. No, don't say skype that's our secret so oh. we're oh. actually we're using whatever's whatever's popular today <laughs> we, we tried we tried um we paid for this no just do we do we have anybody uh do we have any uh chats or anything like that in the Oh, no, 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 not okay. yet, not yet. Okay. We, we, okay. Right now, we got, like, a couple of people watching right now. But, um, again, like, last time, it was, like, a, a test run. So, people were, yes. or, they couldn't hear me the, for the first five minutes. Or, <laughs> and Jason was talking. That was um, so funny. Then I just repeated myself again. And um, I think we, we, we picked up on a good note. And then um, we hinted on a couple things. But uh, right now, now it's more of a reveal. You know, we're revealing things. Um, the page is live. Yes, we're rocking and rolling. And I wanted and, um, to show off. I, I was actually, we sold already my original artwork for the uh, Patreon exclusive variant. Um, right on. It's sold already. Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> I melted into the. <laughs> yes, Jason. Jason will be going in and out. As you can see, he's phasing in and out. He's a big Star Trek fan, so <laughs> right now he's beaming. He's beaming to the planet of Panda. <laughs> okay, your butt is oh, okay. You're completely gone now. Oh, there you go. Uh, uh, I, could, I didn't. I don't have it out right now. I I, I have it put aside for for that. Uh, but uh, yeah, it, that original art went got sold really quick. Um, right. and I was pretty impressed. Uh, how quickly that went because I, I didn't think I was going to sell it. <laughs> I knew Noel, everyone's going to want your stuff, but no, nah, it's like you're you're the big man, dude. You're um, the I'm, I'm one of those helpers, you know. I'm I'm just here just to help out with the the campaign, and um, I'm glad to be part of it. There's a you know your, yourself and Summer and um, the last campaign too. I wish I was on the last campaign as well, but I'm um, I'm glad and I'm I'm thankful for you to actually invite me to be in this campaign. So. Oh man, it's, it, it's no, it's awesome to have you. Um, okay, so yeah, what what should we go over? You want to go perk by perk, or what do you want to do? Yeah, let's um, let's um, I'm not sure if we had any questions last time, other than uh, hey, was that your wifey? <laughs> Where's John? Where's John? <laughs> not gonna be no distractions today. So um, everybody is doing their thing in their own quarantine rooms. I'm kind of quarantined in this kind of like the living room right now. Um, yeah, let's go uh, perk by perk and All let's right. just talk about certain things. So I think the first perk we should talk about since it ends uh, sometime tomorrow is the uh, the free comic oh, book day oh. perk. Right, right, right. The, uh, it, does it end tomorrow? I thought it ends like at noon on Sunday. Um, well, it's a 48, 48 hours, hours. So I guess noon. On, yeah, you're right. Noon Sunday. Yeah, so they still get a little bit of time on 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 Sunday. My math is a little hazy on Fridays, so. Um, good. Let's have you start off with what what you got for that perk, and then I'll go ahead and I'll finish it up. All right. So yeah, for the free comic book day perk, uh, we since there's no free comic book day unfortunately happening, we wanted to still celebrate the holiday, uh, in our own way. And since we had a campaign going, we were like, well, why don't we do something with this? So we do have the you get the regular. 
uh, edition, su Summerdale regular edition variant cover there. And um, the, get the, the actual physical Summerdale cover, yeah, right? Get a floppy. I guess. Well, I'll try. Right and, I'll try and use the right terms here. Floppy, and then uh, you've got the digital PDF of the comic, as well as a digital desktop um, for your desktop, of course. And then uh, Noel was so nice to uh, put his Blint number five comic for Free Comic Book Day. Right, right, right. That was last year's uh, 2019. Right. Uh, Blinth cover. Um, not a lot of people. Um, actually, the yeah, not a lot of people got the actual book. Um, right. can... at the at the show. Um, but we did actually um give out the majority, if not all, of the books on that day. Um, and then you know when I started digging through the closets because you know everybody in quarantine and we got time, we could <laughs> look to what we have. And I did remember, and I did remember mentioning it to uh, Jason that. Uh, there was a good uh, amount, if not like 30, because I think a 30 amount of the books that were damaged um, when when I actually received them before we went out to the to hand them out. Um, I, I reached out to the to the distributor that actually printed out the books and um, they resent them out again, just the amount that was damaged. Um, I put them away again. This is a year ago. So I put them away. Totally forgot about them. They're in a closet. And then. Um, I thought about, you know what, we're not going to have an actual physical free comic book day uh, this year due to circumstances. Um, let's go ahead and throw those those books in. They're in prime condition. Um, I had a set of them, uh, a little set of them that I sold online as well. Right. Um, and those, you're... those people who could not physically end up going to um, the comics collectibles the event um, last year. Um, and we're going to present them in this perk. You know, we're, we're going to be giving them out um it's a very a, limited perk i believe it's only 30 to 30 what is it 30 35 35 or, and that's 30, only yeah it's very limited 35 and i just want to say real quickly because for those that don't know this cover actually is in really high demand this blinth number five and you were selling them on ebay for about between 50 to 150 was, a pop <laughs> so it was like this is a this is a well thought out book well, there's a story behind this, and I'll, I'll try to make it quick because I know there's other perks that need to be um, mentioned. But um, it wasn't necessarily this book. This book was selling for like 20 to 30, so I think it was a 40 bucks. That was a high, and then it kind of peaked down again. Mm -hmm. um, remember, this book was free. You know, it was free to the public. It was free, free comic book. It was not meant to be sold at all. It was just uh, meant to be given out. And it was also a reprint of the year before. Because on 2018, we actually came out with a book similar to this. Um, it had a different story. It was Blend 4. Um, and um, if you look at the cover, you, you'll you see that, okay, it's a it's a homage of the the uh, Amazing Spider-Man 300, Todd McFlarren's famous iconic cover. Um, and we just switched things around, and we we went ahead and we threw Blend in the front of it. And instead of the 300s, we had a bunch of meows in, in the back. Meow, 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 meow for cats cat lovers um that book was i think we only made 75 books and they were gone in like an hour you know they were <laughs> we couldn't even keep any for ourselves um people that worked with us we handed them out like pancakes um we didn't know what was happening we we're just giving them out and you know having a good time there is video of that too so if you want to check out um scatter comic inc there's a video on that whole event um and then um there's a collector group um there's a couple collector groups that just like about four months later they just went i guess they went crazy and they just <laughs> in a good way everybody <laughs> they tried they did their investigations about this book how many were made, given out. They, they, they they went to jason's yes. house yes there they, is a blend they, we're, we're on it we're they, on it <laughs> they kidnapped his cats it, it was crazy <laughs> um but uh they demanded a either that book <laughs> or a different kind of book so um what we did was we did a version cover and then we came up with the white book which was like blinth with no meows in the back but we all we did was just put like a little icon said meow it's like thank you for the attention the love that you gave us mm -hmm. um and we did it again we ran it again 
um, with this with almost the same results because the first time when it came out, it was like unexpectedly hot. And um, this one right here was still hot. Um, but man, it, it's hard to catch that lightning in the bottle twice. And we, we did it almost the, the same time. So this is your 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 other chance to actually go ahead and grab that um, grab that copy that was presented last year. It wasn't a reprint. This is not a reprint. We didn't go back to the printers and make them again. Uh, we're just um, inviting customers who, who didn't uh, pick it up the, uh, the first time to uh, to pick it up again. It's going to be on this perk. You're going to get um, what the campaign is about, which is a uh, live Marth uh, with the Summerdale cover. You're going to get the digital, like uh, Jason says, and you're going to get this um, this nice homage to um, to an iconic uh, cover from Tom McFlaren. So it's it's a good. It's a good perk, you know. It's a it's a good little perk, and it's only limited. It's only like forty out forty eight hours. Yeah, and then it's gone. You know? So, all right. That's the that's the the majority of it. And I'll throw in like just give me one more minute, Jason. Oh, on this. sorry, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do just for this perk, um, just for this perk. Not no other perks, <laughs> just for this one because it's only 48, 48 hours. Um, and this is the book. This I believe that's the book. I think you already have like a video on it. Yeah. You should have a visual on it. So this book is going to be inserted in it. There's, there's no randomism. You're going to get this book. So that's at, at, that's the amount I have left. There's no other books I have anymore left. But what I'm going to do is um, for those people that still want the 2018 cover, I'm going to go ahead and just like I'm going to randomly put in one actually two copies um to like a, a lucky pleasure so if you're looking for the 2000 there you go right there the 2018 oh, cover. i must have it i must have it <laughs> this was in the same closet okay and plus um shout out to um one of the customers that's from my, that that's day. my it copy actually, give huh? me my copy that's mine I thought you had a copy. Anyways, <laughs> this is not. This is my personal copy. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this in um, to one of the 30, 35 wow. uh, pledges because right now um, they're just right now that pledge is still there. It's still available. Um, I'm gonna throw this in to one lucky buyer, um, and you might see like um, the version cover too. The version Whoa, cover that these what? these right here were kind of. Uh, um, there's like. Like only five of these so five people are gonna get like a, a nice cover too and these are just random these are just random i'm just gonna throw them in there and um it's like gambling almost like but you're gonna get stuff anyways <laughs> probably but, um, uh the ones that got the 50 dollars perks might get them more no i'm just kidding <laughs> you can do whatever you want i mean they're valuable to the collectors for us we just like making them for um the fans um, it was fun making it, and man, it, it was really fun um, talking to some of the collectors about, man, I really need this book, and and the desire of getting these um, these collections 100% um, complete, you know. And a lot of people were like, I need this book to get this. This is like one of the <laughs> hardest books ever to get, and I feel you, man. I I feel you about that, you know. And um, I might throw in a couple other things too, but we'll just leave Noelle that. Noel likes next. to Noel loves to give gifts uh yeah so oh, yeah. I, I, that's why i want that's another reason why i'm so happy to have you doing this campaign with me because uh you, you just reward <laughs> you're teaching me how to reward everybody too because i i'm starting to throw more free I'm stuff in mood. too i'm i'm a, i'm gonna give you mood you know i'm i'm happy right now um we're, we're in a good place <laughs> now um, we are you know. we, we're really grateful to what the the response in three yeah. hours we were funded in three hours these i mean our <laughs> Our really? fans are amazing. But the thing is, is that we want we want to go ahead and we want to make this campaign more kind of mysteriously, spontaneously fun. You know, it's like yeah. when I say that, it's like you already know what you're getting, but there's stuff that you can still get. Like we got uh, tier goals that we need to achieve. And once we hit those tier goals, a lot of people are going to be getting a lot of things for free. You know, a lot of incentives. Let's see if I have any for, images um, of the tier goals here. For the, Sorry. Oh yeah, for those for those people who actually do like actual physical pledges, you're gonna be seeing some nice images. We haven't shown you everything, so that's Oops. that's the good thing. Oops. Sorry, 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 everybody. 
Sorry, I'm not used to doing this. So hold on, let me see if I can. I should have had this all set up. All right, here we go. So, uh, oh, don't show everything. Good God, I'm showing too much. All right, so tier goal. <laughs> Do you see stuff? <laughs> There's our first tier goal. I'm seeing like all the files now. I so. know, I know. I. So one of our. Should I just keep talking? Yeah, this was one of our first stretch goals is going to be, uh, can you see it already? Noel? There's a, there's a lag on it, so. Oh, okay. So, yeah, they're just catching up to us right now, so it's all good. All it's right, all well, good. this is the so, stretch, um, this is our first stretch goal. Um, it's a, now this is an image that I did for this campaign but this is a it's this image is exclusive to a cover variant from just my patreons however when we hit the 1000 stretch goal this will become a backboard print and i think i made up that term because noel didn't know what i was talking about but it's basically a mini print that we slip into the uh the the bag with the comic book next to the backboard it's not strong enough to actually be a backboard, but um, it's kind of it looks nice when you when you slip it in. Let me see if I got one. It's a, it's, it's a mini print, basically. Yeah, it's a mini print. Um, so last year, or not last year, when I woo, when I did the gosh, Lee, <laughs> this is not working. <laughs> we see it. Just, oh, you just gotta it? pull back. Okay, I'm gonna keep it right, right here, Intrusion. right here. Okay, so here's, yeah, good. here's the genesis, right? And we did a mini print for this. I call it a backboard print. And, well, you can't really see it because there's stuff in t on top of it. Hold on. It's a mini print. There you go. So, it's, <laughs> so, basically, so here's the comic and then the back, the mini prints in the back. And so that's what yeah. one of the stretch first stretch goals is going to be a mini print. And we're not supposed to talk about the other stretch stuff, right? No, 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 no. We're, we're just talking about what people could get right yeah, now. What they can see right so, now. But uh, we have a lot of things in store for you as this campaign continues to grow. And it's growing a lot faster than I thought. This is this is way faster than my Genesis campaign. It's There's a lot more people <laughs> getting this book than <laughs> in my Genesis campaign. Well, what I learned is, like, once you, once you start something, it just gets... You basically learn from everything that, you know, just suggestions and then you just milk everything up like a sponge and then you just move on and can't, you do only get bigger and, and better. So um, with the campaign right now, um, it, it's looking good, man. It's looking great. And there's a lot of things that, you know, I'm pretty sure you want to like say, oh, I want to show these stretch goals and stuff. But um, <laughs> you want to show it, you get, you're excited about everything. So you want to share yeah. everything with everybody. But the whole point of, it being a reveal is the excitement for them later on throughout the campaign. Oh yeah. So, so first things first, we got to hit that first stretch goal and then, right. then we can reveal the next stretch goal. So, so the first stretch goal, which is locked is the mini print. So we're well on our way though. We're, but we're, we're closing in right now too. Yeah, and, uh, and again, like with, with some of the reveals that uh, Jason is uh, talking about, um, and some of them that I'm talking about might get, you know, might get us over the hump and then, we'll start showing you some extra stuff that uh, a lot of people, they don't know about, but <laughs> the, they're, they're going to see some stuff in the coming days. Yeah. Hopefully even sooner. You never know. <laughs> All you early backers are, you know, this is our way of saying thank you too, because that's the stretch goals are a way for us to say, thank you for supporting the project. And here's some extra stuff now because. Oh, yeah. oh you know. yes. Here, here's another thing. Here's another spoiler. <laughs> if not a spoiler, no more hints. We're just revealing things now. Yeah. So, I've already mentioned that. Okay, on one of the on one of the um, not tiers, but um, on one of the perks, uh, basically the free comic day. If we're gonna be randomly putting in like a blimp book here, um, another blimp book there. Um, you're also gonna be if your actual pleasure on any one of um, any of the any of the pledges physical. If you're a physical pleasure. Uh, pleasure. Um, <laughs> I have I have already made. I know Jason knows this. I've already made um, a specific amount of original art that hasn't been shown. I made ten pieces that we're going to be randomly putting in 
each physical pledging soul. So every, have, anybody who pledges, I can't show you that. That's, um, whoa, you're in the. So if there's sorry. ten <laughs> pledges right now, if there's only ten pledges, I think we have a little bit more than that. Um, everybody who's everybody who pledged is going to get an original piece of art. And I think you might have, if you look up like the stuff that I've been posting on on Facebook and on Instagram, um, you might have already seen some of these um, these pictures. So um, yeah, do you it's have, gonna be a, do you have any of those any of those? I do, I do, I do. Um, I don't know actually. I don't know. Oh, yeah, but um, some of them are original, you know, original inks. Some are going to be originally painted. Um, it's going to be based off the series. Um, and if again, if you've seen anything on, on my feed, then you you know I've been like kind of like playing around with a lot of uh, different images with a lot of blood. <laughs> been some of my artwork has been getting a little bit too bloody. Um, that could be in your hands too, just being a, a physical pleasure. So, physical um, pleasure. <laughs> we're just up in the ante, you know. We're just up in the ante. This is stuff that you did not know about. You're gonna, you don't have to put any more money into it. All you gotta do is do be a physical pleasure, and um, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna be in the running to get some original art. So, that's a, it's another spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> another spoiler yeah i i you know oh. I, I was thinking just now i'm like you know the people that they got the 50 dollars pledge with the gimme it all you should probably figure a way to make sure they get one of the blinth books too what do you think no they're going to be in the running too i mean okay oh yeah the, for the for the physical yeah yeah the, that's that right there is just like a 48 hour um limited um right yeah, once once forty eight hours is done, you're not going to be able to uh, to be part of that pledge. But if you did pledge in that category, you're also in the running as well. Okay. So there there's a lot of things to to go for for that pledge. So it's not just like you're like once that it's going to disappear. You can't be part of it no more. It's going to be times up, and you move on to the next ones that are going to be available. Right. Like art, like Jason's art. Um, he's not making another original piece of art, you know. Um, maybe he that is. Was, Who knows? That was the only but, one I I had. So yeah, uh, but like, can't you can't duplicate that? No. So once it's gone, it's gone. It's gone. So I was just um, showing that to my I was showing that to my wife. I was like, she goes, can Can you limit some of these perks? And I'm like, oh yeah, like, and I was showing her our original art. And I'm like, you can only have one of these. So this is how she was really interested in how this was all working today when she saw right the. Okay. The what's pledges the next, coming in. Um, she was like, "Whoa, what is this?" Yeah, but what's the what's the next um, uh, pledge they they could get? All right, so going down the line, that was the yeah. Let me. All right, well let's uh, let's update see if it's moved any. And we're still at one seventy seven seventy one. Okay, so the next one is the digital blood, which is five dollars. You get the comic digitally on a pdf and you get the digital desktop and then right. um i'm gonna go i'm just gonna go through the the digital ones pretty quickly here um and then you there's a bundle a digital bundle pack called blood bank and you will get the lilith amara pdf the shadow hunters tie-in pdf which we haven't actually talked about that yet um right. the genesis second chance PDF and the desktop, um, digital desktop, and that's uh, fifteen dollars. And that's for people that just like everything digitally. Hey, you just want digital stuff? That's that's fine. We got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. It's all good. This is probably one of the easiest ones. This one, the bundle, and the one before that, digital blood. Um, it's probably two of the easiest uh, pledges that you can actually go go right. by. Um, and uh, two of the cheapest ones too. So right, a lot of some people want to be supportive, but they don't want they don't really want to spend a whole lot of money because you know it's hard times right now. We we understand we're all struggling. So the five dollar digital blood that's a great way. We've we've actually sold a couple. I mean, two people have already claimed that one. So I mean, that's right. a great way to show your support. Say I love you guys, and this looks like an awesome book. I I don't have a whole lot of money, but you know I can afford that. So that's a great way to do it um right on fifteen dollars gets you the regular edition book and uh with that you also get the digital wallpaper and the pdf of the book too 
Right. And you, and, and for, furthermore, you know, you get the actual, um, the summer, the summer Dale cover. That that's a beautiful right. cover right there. No, it's a great cover. That's I don't want to click on the, on the actual thing. Cause I'll have to buy it. Um, <laughs> Let's see. Then that brings us to Noel Serrato variant cover. And I'm going to put this on the big screen here so you can see this beautiful piece of artwork. Look at that. Oh, a lot of people were oohing and on when they saw this. <laughs> they love it. They love it. They're like, oh my goodness. And uh, have the, um, I'm going back and forth with the, um, the pages right now. It has a kind of like a like a poison ivy kind of feel to it, you know, like the the vines in the back, um, Cthulhu is kind of like the vines going through her body. No, okay. so um, yeah, I, I wasn't looking at the vines, but yeah, yeah, I see that now. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, um, yeah. so for fifteen dollars, same price as the regular edition, you can also get uh, Noel Serrato's variant cover, and that also comes with the digital. Uh, regular edition and the desktop and then um, of course for those that like things a little bit more risque Noel's also got some risque ones and um, they won't have these little signs on their on the cover no danger or warning signs will be on the co actual cover but of course you know to protect the innocent we had to put these on here um so we've got the uh we've got two versions we got the uh the nude version which also ha has the logos and stuff and then we have the virgin <laughs> edition well that's a tongue twister virgin edition variant which uh there's only going to be how many 15 of those so that only 15 um, hey we got our first comment on, on facebook right now jim noble Jim, Jim oh Noble. yeah, he, he was the very Jim first Noble. pledge. He said, he said um, I got my nude one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he did. He was the hey, very God, first Jim. he was the very first pledge. And yes. uh for those that probably don't, I mean for most people that do know, Jim Noble is a publisher and creator uh, over at Totally Rad Comics. Um, and he also has a new book that came out today or for May the 4th. And that's a uh, Star Wars book that I was happy to do a uh, variant edition for his for his stuff. So I want to give him a big shout out for both, you know, having me do his cover and thank you for being our very first pledge. And he broke the ice like the moment we launched. So he hey, got hey Jim, hey Jim, if you get if you're hearing us, uh, go ahead and tag me on your uh, on your uh, is it an Indiegogo as well? Um, I, I think he decided not to do a uh, actual crowdfunder like through uh, like Kickstarter or Indiegogo. I believe he's doing it through his website. But Jim, okay. yeah, if you'd like to uh, comment Just, with a tag, uh, we'd be happy to let, you know, put that up for our few viewers. Yeah. <laughs> we'll spread the love. We'll, we'll spread the love, Jim. Yeah. Definitely. No, Thanks he, a lot, man. He was, he was, it was awesome. He's like, he uh, saw the uh, post we put up before noon. And uh, he, he said, he shot me a, a quick text and he said, send me a link as soon as that goes up and so i did and boom and he was like i was the first right on. and then i i had to look because you can see who who buys what and so i looked and i saw he got your nude edition i was like yeah that sounds about right <laughs> that's good it's good you know i was checking out some of his stuff um great stuff i know jason um he showed me his uh his cover too it's very very risque very uh very nice, you know, very nice in, you know, in the full glory, you know, got the lightsaber going on there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he... But yeah, on this perk right here, um, the one with the, the risque version, again, um, we have like a, the one with the dressing on it and the one with uh, just a version cover on it as well. And as you can see, there's differences between uh, the girls on the, the timid one and the one on the on the risk more risque version of it um the skin tone's a little bit different there's little things that we changed the vine um, of course no clothes <laughs> right but um there's little things that we changed you know the eye colors of, of course the skin tone and once you start reading the book and hopefully when you get this you get a good read off it because it's a good it's a great story um you'll see um it, again we don't want to give away too much of the story just like last time that we were chatting um it's a good story you know there's a there's a 
it's a the, an origin story of uh, succubuses and uh, the first succubus and the first vampire, I believe, right? Right. Jason? Absolutely. Yes, that's exactly it. Um, I could read real quickly. Lilith and Mara, sisters of the dark. Uh, Lilith and Mara are twin sisters in the original vampire and succubus from whom all other vampire races were involved from, according to the scattered comic universe. Born and raised in the dark, their, destin their destiny seemed clear cut until on the age of their becoming, when something within them stirs, a conflict between power and desires struggles with a morality of a soul they didn't realize existed. So, yeah. And, um... There's that cover, Summerdale. Whoa. She she knocked it out of the park with that. And we okay. got the, the artwork. Uh, we got some beautiful artwork from Frederick Allison Jr. And he did both the art and the colors. Uh, I And, of course, I wrote the story. Let's talk about Frederick. You know, this is one, uh, one of the guys and one of the names that we actually haven't even mentioned. You know, yeah. so... Yeah, let's talk about let's talk about Fred. I actually I talked to him this morning, and I sent him a I link. Know. I sent him a link to the uh, the Indiegogo, and he just thought it was awesome looking. Um, we retooled a lot of uh, we retooled the, actually the entire the entire book that he did with the black borders and stuff. So and um, yeah. so he was like looking at it, and he was just like, "Wow, that's." Looks amazing. I sent him a PDF of the finished version. So yeah, Frederick's been a, like an artist that's been in our camp since I believe 2014, 15 ish. Yeah, and you know, he came on with a sci-fi um, a comic book um, with Rustin, I believe. Uh, it was what is it? Again? Um, what was the book that he was running? Uh, Hybrid Earth. Hybrid Earth, yeah, definitely. So, uh, Frederick, man, he has like a unique style that it's like a signature style, not not base, not like a basic cookie cutter style. It's like a his style is signature to him, and what you see is, man, it's like it's when you actually sit next to him in the conventions, um, and you see him do his uh, convention um, commissions commissions with. Uh, he does it in ease. He does it with uh, jokes. He does it with laughter, and he engages the customers, um, the guests, all the time, like full, full Monty. You know, he's he's really engaging with the customers. A great guy to work with. You know, great guy to work with, oh, and yeah. uh, I'm glad that he's actually part of this um, campaign as well. Yeah, Frederick, if you're out there, man, we love you. Hey, Noel, give me a second. I'm going to go grab a beverage real quick. Right on. Right on. A beverage. Uh oh. So since we got Jason gone, um, I want to go ahead and drop some other hints too. Um, on the free combo day, on the free combo day perk. Okay, since I'm being, you know, very uh, giving, um, I'm gonna be dropping a couple of these books because I used to work at a comic book store um, back in 07 to 09, um, and you know we had free comic book day every year. Um, we were in a secluded area, but you know, I had a lot of stock with me and with, with that, I'm going to be giving out the stock again. So then you're not just going to be getting your packages as well. You're going to be getting some free, free comic books, you know? Um, so, but I, I look in every year and I picked one comic book per year, 2007, 2008 and 2009 that I worked in a comic book store and I picked out one for each year. And I said, I decided, you know what, man, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to throw in um, an extra book. So with what? everybody, yeah, with everybody who's actually putting in to this perk, anybody who gets, a, you know, this perk, um, which is the free comic book day perk, I'm going to throw in one free comic book, probably the best book that year that came out. So we'll start from the from the back to the forward. Uh, um, basically 2009 to th 2007, three books. I have enough so I can supply all the pledgers. Uh, we'll start 2009. So 2009, we had this book, right? Dude. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle <laughs> one reprint. This is before they came out to the IDW. So you either get this book right here. This is 2009. This is a pretty rare book, you know. Uh, it's Good condition. Wait. Unstamped too. No stamp. Quick so question. I know how you collectors are. No stamp. 
quick, quick question. 2008. 2008. 2008. Got a question. Got a quick, quick. Yeah. So you're giving it, you're giving out free comic books to everybody that gets a pledge. It's a free comic book day event. That's Why awesome. <laughs> That's you're, awesome. You're gonna you're gonna get one books. You're gonna get one of these books, okay? And these are pretty rare books, okay? So you're already seeing kind of like what's that? Wait. Go. Now I gotta no. wait. Excuse me. I gotta no, no, no. I gotta pledge now. I gotta make a pledge because I want that turtle book. So let's go. Let's go up. Let's go up. So we got 2008. We have the Simpsons. The Simpsons. Now, why is this a? Why would this be like a really important book? Now, the collectors, uh, they like getting homages and things. So if you go, you look a little closer. What do you see down there? What do you see? Um, you see Spider Man. Oh. You got. You got an amazing Spider Man fifteen what? homage. So if you if you're trying to collect all the rare different Verities of these comic books, um, amazing fantasy, the homages of those guys. This is one of those hidden gems. This is 2008. Okay. Oh, and lastly, but not lonely, we have 2007, which was a pretty hot year. You know, if you watch Netflix, um, 2007 um, was a year where a show came out. It, it, when it came out, it was pretty hot. You know, it came out like last year. I believe last year or a year before that. So we have the Umbrella Academy Ooh, first appearance. What? Ooh, yes. All right. I have plenty of these, and if you go ahead and you put your put your pledge down on this thing, you might just get one of these. You okay. might just get one of these. So, so you got 2007, you got 2008, you got 2009. It's more incentive, man. It's free comic books, man. Free comic books. Wow. Okay. So here's here I, I just want to make sure everybody understands exactly what you're saying here. So no it's free comic book day tomorrow. Who free comic book. So whoever puts in a physical pledge in the during free comic book day or today, they will receive either a Teenage Mutant Ninja <laughs> Turtle book collector's edition or that Simpsons book collector's edition or that umbrella comp Corporation Collector's Edition. <laughs> Umbrella Academy. What's it called? What's the Umbrella, the Umbrella Academy. Academy. Umbrella Academy. Yes. All, all, all these, all these are unstamped. All these are unstamped. Or, uh, or well, actually, you're gonna get one of them. You're gonna get one of them. So basically, you're gonna get one of those guys. So that's just like an extra perk, an extra uh, incentive, um, on top of the blimp stuff, on top of a, uh, um. Uh, the reprint of the brilliance, uh, and you're going to be getting a great. Um, you're going to be like you're going to make us happy because you're contributing to the campaign as well. So that's that's the bottom line. Too, it's like win win. You know, we win, you win. Everybody gets what they want. Um, they get books. You know, they get, get to read than, some stuff. They get so. even more than they want. Oh, that's awesome, man! Thank you. That's, I, it's a limited thing, man. We got to make it nice and uh, we got to make it nice, dude. Got to make it nice. <laughs> so where were we? We're talking about Frederick. We're talking about Frederick, and we were looking at. I was just going through the perks. Um, so we talked about the Genesis Second Chance cover. We we didn't talk about the Shadow Hunters tie-in yet. Let's talk about that. All Why right. is it so important to this campaign? All right. Uh, I actually have some. I have a little artwork for that one, so I'll put that up. And this actually, you contributed again to make this perk even more special. Do you remember? <laughs> well, let's talk about the the book first. All right. So the book <laughs> itself. So Shadow Hunters. This is a tie-in. It actually ties in directly to the Lilith and Mara. There, they actually, there's actually pages in the Shadow Hunters book that mirror pages in the Lilith and Mara book. So you actually can see where the two cross because they actually share it's like the, a time yeah. stream or something i don't know it's how like you... same, it's the same timeline too it's like right. almost like the 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 stories kind of interact with each other and like one is right after the other right so so um, there's a point, there's a point in the story where they're almost together they're right. almost together so and uh this shadow hunters is a little bit different than the other shadow hunters 
from that have been published before in that we are using some unused Benny Jordan artwork that has never graced the pages of Shadowhunters. On the right on, that's the original artist, right? Right, Benny Jordan, uh, he drew and colored issues one and two of Shadowhunters. I miss him. And um, you uh, made this amazing mini print of Jessica, <laughs> the werewolf, the sexy werewolf girl. And right. so we are basically offering this sh this special edition Shadowhunters uh, tie-in comic with the uh, mini print of yours for a fifteen dollar perk. Right <laughs> are on. you falling asleep? <laughs> <laughs> You're all oh. right on. <laughs> I think that's. Just... I'm actually looking down and seeing the comments right oh, now. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. You're reading. Everything. You're reading. I'm, and I'm just like, uh, I'm he's like, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, it's a it, it's a great perk too because uh, those who um, need to catch up on their um, um, scattered universe reading, um, the Seattle Hunters is like a like a flagship in, in the company as well too. It, it kind of cedars up and down which what is the flagship and what is running um, the boat right now. And um, it, it right now is Lilith Thamara right now. But uh, the the stories that like Jason said it interjects you know, kind of go back like and forth. Lilith Thamara looks, looks like a big one. Right now. But yeah, you know, Genesis is, is a nice book too. So yeah, no, there's <laughs> I love I love the Genesis. Listen, the Genesis, I, I had no idea that I have, I've been getting both emails and text messages from people that have gotten the Genesis book and they're like, when's the next issue? I'm like, um, soon, because I had no idea it was going to be that popular. But, um, and then when, when Keith did his uh, review of Genesis and he said, oh, this is not available anywhere. So I guess if you didn't get it, um, too bad. Because <laughs> he's like, he was doing a review of it Probably. after the campaign ended. Yeah. So he was like, he had no yeah. idea it wasn't going to be available anywhere else. Because he's like, so give me yeah, list of me, where they can get it. And I'm like, they can't get it anywhere. Yeah, let me let me re utter that. Let me re utter that because that, that's one of those things, one of those things where a lot of people have to understand. Uh, the books that you see here, you could only get them right here that's just the bottom line guys um, we're not we're not trying to make so many books that we could just take to the conventions because there's no conventions to go to right now <laughs> there's you can't open the stores are going to probably be open maybe you know cross fingers if it's safe by the end of this month somewhere in the end of maybe maybe you know but that's like um it could last i mean it could last as long as you know they're keeping our kids out, out of school so you you got to realize that um there's no there's no stores to go to. There's no shows to go to. And even when the shows um reopen and when the stores reopen, we're gonna have a new story to go. We're, the train keeps going. The train is oh, yeah, gonna we're... keep going and we're making books so the people who pledge they get those books and then we move on to the next story. That's that's the plan. You know, yeah. if you didn't get them right now, um you could email all you want. Um we could probably make a like a second printing. But you're not going to get that first printing too, and sometimes we we're not going to make a second printing because we just want to move on to the next story. We want to we want to continue telling stories, um, and more stories, and then more stories, and then we'll, we'll make a graphic novel of it. You know, we'll we'll we'll, we'll collect them in a book. But we we got to make those single stories. That's that's how comics work. Yeah, you know, I that's mean, how it should be. What I felt really bad actually. I think because I've never done like a, a Indiegogo exclusive book before I felt a little bad that people didn't catch on to what I was doing. So that's kind of why I'm offering the second chance for Genesis in this campaign, because I'm like, okay. And, but at the same time, I didn't want to take something away from the people that did pledge from the earlier right. campaign. So that's why we did a special uh, cover. And so it's, it's not one that you could have gotten before. It's one right. that's, it's like almost like a second, edition or something but it's actually a collector's item too because it's different from the other one so right on yeah definitely definitely um but yes yeah, so this is where we're at now and um you know things are different 
for indie comic book creators, one of the things that was the hardest for us is distribution and getting thing, getting books into stores or getting them into hands for people that are not like in our local area. And, um, you know, distribution is kind of changing anyway, but this is a way that we are able to get books to people, not only across the state, across the country or and across the seas and stuff, but with the retailer pack, I just threw up on the screen there, we're able to get these books into the stores that want them too. So if there's a retailer that does want them and they are like across the country, they, they can see this and go, hey, I like that. It's not us trying right. to drive to a store and like talking with them, making a deal, which is fine, but we can only drive so far. We can't drive to New York or anything, you know, and try, trying to hit people up that way, you know? So uh, distribution's taken on a whole new change. Plus, you know, with the state of direct distribution anyway, it's, it, anyway, we'll get into that. Anyway, this is just kind of a, an alternative and a, just more of a streamlined way for us to get our books into people's hands, really. Definitely, definitely. What, what definitely. are they saying? You're staring too, at I mean. the chat. I can tell you're, you're staring at the chat. What are they saying? Oh no, 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 nothing, nothing. That was your computer. Oh, <laughs> that was oh, my, that my computer I'm, beeping? I'm trying to keep my uh, per visuals like kind of looking all over the place and see if we miss anything. But yeah, you're absolutely right. You know, you um, <clears throat> times are changing. You know, we, we mentioned this in the last um, live event we had. And, you know, times changing and. I mean, if we don't change with the times, then we just get left in the dust, you know. Um, We've been struggling the time for a while. Right now, yeah, the time right now, you know, there's like, it's a crazy times right now. Yeah. Um, and we mentioned that, you know, with crazy times, we we, we have to bring up these um, these ideas, these new ideas, and just run with it, you know. And if it doesn't go right, then just got, got to keep trucking. So but that we is... learned a lot from the last uh, Genesis. Uh, campaign um and you you hit a home run on that one so we're just moving along right now we already like you say we already hit our goal um but that's not our that's the goal is not just to hit the goal the right. goal is to get this book to as many um hands and eyes as we can so you know uh, we're still grinding for that guys so the more books that we we get out the more people are going to read the stories um and then because of that the more stories we make right it's like a it's just like a circle. To keep, we just circle of life, guys. So <laughs> the circle of comics. <laughs> so, Somebody muted. <laughs> oh, someone muted us now. Like, oh, oh, god, no. <laughs> ah, please. Um, so, um, so where were we now? Yeah, next, the next, uh, the next one. The next one is the uh, the nude. We talked about the nude. Uh, we talked about the summer of blood already. Which is the uh, the two the the two the summer of blood that you you can you came up with that idea, um, summer of blood. <laughs> it's like summer of love, you... I think. <laughs> oh, because about, of summer uh, Dale. Oh. I was like, why did you say summer of love, summer of blood? <laughs> what is? Oh, I get it because it's summer <laughs> Dale, I... duh. Did I... I didn't say that, did I? It's summer yeah, of you love. came up with this one, yeah. You came up with, with the, the per you came up with the name. I got the text. A, I got the text, man. I got it. I was like, oh, I like that idea. <laughs> hey, I'm not knocking that idea. It's a pretty good idea. But so, hey, let's 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 talk about um that that's pretty much what we have right now. Because yeah. um once we start hitting our incentives, um we got more stuff. Oh, not incentives, but like our um. The, the stuff that we unlock. Is that an incentives, right? Or that's our oh, add-ons? Yeah. Let's talk about the add-ons because we can't talk about anything like a uh, tiers um really until we hit one, you know? And uh we're close, we're close, but we'll probably have like another video if we hit that. Then we could start revealing a couple other things. Um but um add-ons too, you know, we have like a couple add-ons uh that you could actually um if, if you're a fan of original art, uh, if you're a fan of uh, getting something really original, like having a like art on the cover, we call them remark, remark A's and stuff. So um, um, it's a good way of getting like original art on the cover. If you're looking to get people or get your um, book uh, graded too, um, and if you're a shop, 
um, and you're an authorized CGC uh, dealer, this is the way to go. You know, you can get your graded. We're going to have like pretty minty books. You're going to have original art, get that gold slab on it. Uh, and what I mean by slab is, you know, you get <laughs> you're, it. You're like layer. talking, you're talking mm -hmm. like a new, a different lingo that I know of. Oh. You're like, so. Collectors know what I'm talking about. Collectors know what I'm talking about. Well, I'm glad. They know I'm... about, um, you know about people who collect original art. Um, but the other level is encapsulating it, slabbing it into airtight pockets. So then it's kind of like a piece of art, you know? They get it graded and the higher grade you get, it just, it's it's a craving, you know. Some some people just crave that um, <clears throat> high grade, you know. And plus, if it's limited too, like we have one that's limited, like a the risk a variant. It's a very limited book. We're only making fifteen, and I when I mean fifteen, I'm we're not gonna make fifteen more and sell them in the shows. We're only making fifteen. Oh, okay. So if we sell fifteen of them, I ain't getting a copy. Jason ain't getting a copy. You guys, whoever pledges, they are gonna get the copies. No, I, I so, actually kind of enjoy being able to be one of those being the person that's like man i wish i had one of those copies it's like i kind of like it's like it's like valuable <laughs> to me you know that like i can't even get a copy of that and i like, like it. those <laughs> like those, like those blimp covers right <laughs> yeah i gotta go i gotta go dig into my closet or or wrestle a customer give me that copy i want you know, you know I, give it back. one of those collectors <laughs> i hate to say it one of those collectors you know approached me for that blimp comic and right. I was pretty, I was pretty hungry at that point. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to sell you my copy. <laughs> I sold my personal copy that you signed for me. You sold it? Yeah, I need, I need some money, man. <laughs> I, I'm not even going to ask how much you, you, you sold it for because no. those, those, those copies, those copies, I mean, again. Obviously, I made some good money it. from it. Yeah, it, it's out of love that we make them. And I'm already thinking about next year. I'm already thinking about next year. And for anybody who's listening, out, I mean, there's not a lot of people watching, but like they'll probably watch later. But um, basically, I'm already thinking about next free comic book day because, we're, you know, hopefully, cross fingers, everything, this cloud is over our heads and everything's starting to get back to normal. Um, next year, um, we're coming close to an anniversary for uh, Scatter Comics. So, um, it's going to be pretty exciting, you know, like yeah, anniversary work. time. And Jason knows last time we, we had a party. We had we had singers. We had bands. Yeah. We rocked it out for, for that. Um, I'm already thinking about the next free comic book day cover, you know. I'm thinking foreign, you know. I'm thinking foreign stuff, you know, foreign stuff. Yeah, I'm, yeah that's a hint. I don't right know what that means, <laughs> but okay, it sounds great. So, we'll, well okay, so real quickly good. with these add-ons, because um, you're talking a lot of collector lingo, but I'm going to break it down for <laughs> us normies. <Yeah. laughs> so, uh, the head sketch remark for $15. Now, this is something Noel's going to do on your cover, and he's going to actually draw on top of your comic book cover if you want it. And uh, it'll be uh, – now, you're going to draw – basically something of your choosing but it's going to have something to do with the comic book it's not going to be right. just like oh, i'm going to draw a, t a cup of ramen or something it's going to be like no you know, no, like, no no it's going to be it's going to be a, a story base so right. it's going to be it's going to be uh, either both girls it's probably going to be one of the two girls um okay. it's going to be like a side head sketch okay um and i'll probably put throw a little like white paint around it so the the face kind of pops out a little bit um, okay. Just like the the preview that you have on on the screen right now. Right, that's what I put out there. The bloodbath remark for fifteen dollars. Now this is an, again um, something that you can have added, and it's basically Noel putting blood. He loves the blood on the faces, and if you've seen a lot of his uh, postings lately, he's always got the blood dripping off the girls' faces. So what he'll do is he will make your comic book cover into a artistic bloodbath. And uh, you can have that added onto any of the covers as well. And then right. um, the original sketch. Now, this is something that I will be doing. Uh, I I did this for the Genesis uh, campaign, and I basically will just do a original pencil and ink sketch on the backboard for your comic book, and that's for twenty five. Ta da! Right <laughs> What are you reading? And um, that 
that was a pretty popular one too um last time because i, I was right. seeing last campaign you were just banging them out so yeah. there was like a lot of sketches that you actually did so i'm pretty sure people are going to be looking at that now how do they add on those okay those, um, you know add -on, uh, let's let's do a virtual let's let's do this virtually real quick i'm gonna take them through so i'm a here i am i'm going through wow this is amazing oh my goodness i want everything so uh, let's see. I will take the amazing $50 pledge. I click on this. Maybe I shouldn't have done this. this is, wait, no, I won't do this one because I want to do just a normal. Uh, let's, because that'll just be too complicated. All right. So I'm going to get the comic book. I click on here. All right. Get this perk. You click on this perk. It immediately gives you some options here. Lilith and Mara comic regular edition options. So we click on here. You can get a signature added, signed by Jason Doobie on cover, since I was a writer. Uh, or you can click on signature, keep my cover unsigned. I don't want that fool's signature on my cover. So you don't do that. So you continue to payment. Boom. Did I continue to payment? Uh-oh, what happened? Pfft. Hold on. What happened here? <laughs> Let's try this again. Continue to payment. Ugh. This is not working out. All right, continue to payment. Let's try it now. Ah, oh, here we go. So it takes you to the payment section. And then it says perks you may also like. And here they give you the options. Remark art by Noel Serrato. Bloodbath your cover by, well, it doesn't say by Noel Serrato, but he's the one that's going to do it. Original sketch by Jason Doobie. So you can hit on all these. It looks like there's already been, someone has chosen the bloodbath perk already. And someone else, nice. has, and someone else has also chosen the remark by Neil Serrato perk already. So, uh, so he's already got some work to do. So that's how it works. And then you hit the checkout and then, um, and then you're all done, but that's how easy it is. You're pretty easy to me. So <laughs> yeah, it, as long as you don't get all caught up. Oh my goodness. And we've had some more. We're at 801. We right just had on, another dude. donation. We had another perk just claimed. Let's see. Also, all good. It's all good, but we're going to check this out afterwards. Another nude variant was <laughs> just gotten from. They want that bloodbath. Yeah, they, they do. They want that bloody, yeah, the I bloodiness. Just in case they don't want to, me to tell you, tell people. Don't forget. Don't it. forget that bloodbath uh, remark. And I'm using, um, I'm using paint. So this stuff is gonna be really high tech paint. It's gonna it's gonna make it look like um kind of like that glow in the dark kind of red paint. So <laughs> you're gonna get you're gonna get a treat if you get the bloodbath uh, thing. So I don't know if anybody ever dealt with like glow in the dark pens, but um it's gonna make it's gonna make your um your cover pop really. Oh, if you get that green, it, ooh, you gotta send me some photos on that. So um, we are almost at our one thousand dollars stretch goal, people. Yeah, we're, we're trucking it, guys. We're trucking it. So, um, there, there's gonna be more, guys. There's gonna be more, but we don't want to go ahead and you know bore everybody to death right here. But uh, <laughs> there's gonna be a lot more stuff in the coming days. Hopefully, in the in the coming days. I don't want to say weeks, but like in the coming days, because we're <clears throat> we're coming close to that stretch goal. And when we hit that stretch goal, we're going to reveal the next stretch goal. And that next stretch goal, it is, it's hot. It's hot. It's hot, 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 hot. <laughs> There's a lot of hot stretch goals, actually, because we got a third it, one, too, that we just added. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's going to be something, too. That's, that's going to be something, too. So. But uh, one thing, you know, first things first, let's get to that first stretch goal. Mm -hmm. Um remember the goal is to sell as many books as we we can you know i love these little other like the original art pieces and you know i i just love to get these stories out the more stories we get out the better um that's my goal that's my goal we already hit goal right now right we're just gonna have fun now guys we're gonna be giving out a lot yeah, of stuff now, now yeah it's um, all gravy now now we're just gonna be throwing we're like gift gift free stuff free stuff we love you we love you we're like, we're like like oh bro like get this get that get that get that everybody get it you know Ooh. remember and remember once once we get to that first stretch goal um and you already revealed the image everybody gets that little mini print 
everybody who actually did um, a physical pledge will get that um, um, mini print, you know, or like how Jason says, the backboard print. Um, everybody's yeah. going to get that. You know, you have to have a physical pledge, you know, a physical pledge gives you that, um, get you that, uh, that turgle. You need to you do know? it quick. Same, you need to do it quick because he's got those free comic books he's going to give everybody. Oh, yeah. Turtles. That's only 48, 48 hours. That's like a. Turtles, man. Yeah, we started at 12. So you only get like 30 something hours left, I think. Yeah, you're. So. Uh, Jump on you know, it! Jump on it! They're still there. Every, they're still there, and that that uh those books that I show you, some of them are like fifty to seventy dollars a piece. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. You know, like I've been living off those books for the last <laughs> few years. But um, <laughs> I'm not even sure why um, you're giving them away. But yeah, you know, uh, you're you're a beautiful person. I used, work, I used to work at a comic book shop, so I get little incentives here and there. Um, that's where me and Jason first met, you know, in a comic book shop and fates kind of just intertwined each other. And here we are now, you know, I still got some like of those. T we still got those t-shirts you gave us. I was going to wear it. I was going to wear that t-shirt today. And maybe it, if, if we hit that, hey, if we hit that, uh, that tier goal, I'll wear it in Sunday, man. If we have like a live podcast on wait, Sunday, wait. I'll wear it on Sunday. Wait, 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 wait. Let's see. Wait, wait. I'm going to have to refresh now. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> I'll uh, wear it. Jason will wear a panda head and we, we can go crazy. We we'll start dancing. We should make, I was no. gonna say maybe we should have done it like a drinking game like <laughs> like thing. Every time if we hey, get, we're doing it now, dude. I know. <laughs> what do you guys know what's in my cup? I and know. I thought you're drinking it's coffee. It's re it's really is coffee. Mm. We doing our thing. That's you know, right. Um, I couldn't I put my coffee in this weird bottle. Oh you can't see oh you can't see my bot oh <laughs> but you know we just don't want to say like you know as we close down because we're already getting to that hour yeah yeah um, yeah you know thank thank you for everybody who pledged a hey, big thanks big hugs Huge to everybody thank you. who shared this page we had a lot of people give us a lot of love um i got some private messages already but people say hey yeah, uh, yeah yeah we already got some private messages um People are thinking about yeah. pledging on Monday, um, and you're thinking, why not now? Well, you know, well, life is happening right yeah. now, so we want everybody to be safe. We right. uh, uh, respect those quarantine rules. Um, right now, we're not wearing masks because we're in our house, so we're kind of like stretching our our, our, our arms. But you know, just be safe out there, guys. It's crazy right, right, right now, you know. Right. So again, thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, I'll let I'll let Jason close it up right now, dude. Close it up, Jason. All right, man. So. Thank you, Noel, for joining us. Thank you, all of you, for joining and being a part of this Indiegogo campaign. Lilith and Mara, we really appreciate all the love, support, and don't and don't be fooled. We see it uh, right away. Uh, we we know how much you guys care, and we see everyone sharing the post and getting the word out there, helping us spread the word. Even if you can't afford to help pledge, you're getting you're helping spread the word, and we love you guys for that so much. Thank you so much, and uh, you guys have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Keep reading comic books. If you're creators, keep on creating. And we will see you at the next one. Thank you so much. Peace.